Hello, everybody. Today is day one of quarantine. How are you? How is everybody out there? I know we're fine. We're here having a good old time deep in the holler. We're enjoying ourselves. Uh, it's just a normal day for us because uh, we work from home. So, you know, just just another day. Of course, we can't go out and get anything. Uh, uh, you know. Day one, telling us to stay home, don't go outside. How is it for y'all? How are y'all doing? Are y'all okay? Are you still enjoying yourselves? Are you still interested in comic books? Are you here to see comic books, to see comic books made? Because that's why I'm here. I'm here to enjoy myself, promote some comic books, uh, get in front of y'all and show you exactly what's going on. So, you know, normally I, when I do these live streams, I just show the screen. I don't actually show myself. So I figured I, I'd do a little something extra today for y'all and actually show myself and be right here on the screen for you. So how you like that? That's awesome. But anyway, it's day one, day one of quarantine. We're uh, working, still working on comic books, still uh, moving the, the book forward, getting it ready for y'all. Hopefully y'all will uh, get on over there and sign up for the mailing list. Let's uh, let's go look at the mailing list. How about that? Let's look at the mailing list. So here's the mailing list. Go over to Indiegogo. Uh, the link will be in the uh, description. It's also in the chat. People are going to be putting it in the chat here for us. Um, but basically... Get on over to Indiegogo, get on the mailing list. Mailing list is huge for us. We're doing really good. We're kicking butt with the mailing list right now. It's going really good. Everything is great. You can watch our little first little intro to skits right there on the video. Do that. Maybe we, let's, uh, I don't want to risk uh, this thing stalling on us, but we'll go ahead and play it. Let's just see what happens. There we go. So there's skits, there's our, our first coming out little video, and then the video that we started the broadcast with is right here. You can go ahead and check that out as well if y'all are interested. Get over there and check that out. We got a little bit of artwork. Of course, <clears throat> we'll be showing a lot more artwork once we launch the campaign here in the spring. It's springtime. We're getting really, really close. Uh, you know, big thing is, is what's going on with y'all out there? Are y'all doing okay? Are you still interested in buying books? Are you still interested in, in checking out what we're doing here? I know it's probably going to be hard for some people. Might have a two weeks out of work, maybe three, maybe four. I mean, depending upon what part of the country or the world you're in, how is it affecting you? Is it hurting? You know, that's a, that's a tough one, you know. Heart goes out to everybody out there, you know. Hope everybody's doing as best as they can in these times of a need and tribulations and stuff. But uh, anyway, let's get on over here to uh, check out the skit stuff again. So I figure on this day one of quarantine, what I would do is, you know, we go on these live streams all the time and we uh, talk about skits. You know, so I figure, well, why ain't I doing it on my own dang channel? You know, <laughs> I mean, why are we sitting here talking about it on, on Skit's channel? So here we are. We're going to actually talk about it, you know. But let's uh, let's go over to the chat, see what's going on. You got me in there. You got Blackstar. If you haven't, you know, go on over there and see Blackstar's uh, reviews. You know, she does a, come get some, come get some. You know, get the little bows going and stuff like that so uh go over there and check out her she's got some more coming hopefully really really soon i'm sure she'll uh, tell you if she does or not right there in the chat 
So let's see. Burst Film says, sounding sounding good skip oh sweet man glad we're coming in live and and somewhat of some decent quality you know coming at you so that's always good we live action hit you in the face with some uh, the time to grab some books that's right get on over to indiegogo and grab you some books go sign up for skits get some of it when it's ready to roll that'd be great we still want to read that's what i'm talking about I still want to read too. I mean, I'm looking at comics right now. Matter of fact, here in a second, I'll show you what I'm reading right now. There we go. Let's see what Black Star says. We're dropping new come get sums tomorrow. So tomorrow, there you go. New come get some. So come get some tomorrow. Where are you? That's there you are. I'm gonna have to get used to this camera. It's the opposite. I'm sure uh, Black Star is a little more used to that than I am. You know? You know, she's used to seeing herself on the screen. I'm not, not really something I'm into. I ain't never done that sort of stuff, except for right here for y'all. And that just shows you the amount of dedication I have. You know, it's like normally I just kind of, you know, as an artist, you kind of get into yourself and your own cocoon and you don't really want to go anywhere. You don't want to do anything. You just want to do your own little thing here. But, you know, to get your book out there, you got to talk to people. You got to get in front of them. You got to shove it in, in, in front of their face to say, hey. I got a comic book. You need to come get this comic book, all right? So that's what we're doing right here. Hopefully, well, we're not really in your face. We're you're clicking on it and you're coming to watch us. So the onus is on y'all, not me. <laughs> so here we go with skits right here. Let me get this one off of here right quick. We don't need to. Let's get a nice full screen here. So we're talking about skits. This is the team. This is the skits team, man. Everyone loves a team up, and this is it. This is the skits team right here, buddy. I mean, it doesn't get any better than this, right? We got the old skits logo there. That's a pretty crazy logo. Now, uh, when I first started working on this, I showed it around, and people were like, well, that's kind of crazy, man. You got a lot of stuff going on. I was like, yeah, exactly. It's skits. He's got a lot going on. It's all crazy and stuff. But the thing that I did with this design is, and I always tell people this myself, you know, I've been working over 20 years. Uh, doing design and illustration and stuff like that. I always tell people when if you want to know if something's working, you just print it out, stick it on a wall, and stand all the way across the room from it and look at it. That's all you got to do. And if it reads from across the room, then you're good to go. And this actually does something really cool. And and I kind of intended it, but not really. And what it was is. You look at it, the closer you get to it, the crazier it looks, but the further away from it you are, the clearer it looks. So I'm actually doing two things at once, and that's really, really cool. You know, that's something that, that's really hard to get in design and stuff like that, but we're able to do it. And uh, this is the logo right here. And if you get really far away from it, it reads skits even clearer. But when you get really, really close to it, you got all sorts of cool little things going on in there. So that's it. Skits. The Sun, book one, right there, all right? Cool enough. So I'm going to go through some of these images and tell you a little bit about them, you know, and take my time telling you about them because when I'm on someone else's show, I don't want to bogart all their time, and I kind of just kind of run through this stuff uh, uh, really, really quickly. And uh, I think maybe what I'll do, since this is my own channel, I'll take time and actually talk, it, talk through some of these images to you to tell you what I'm thinking. So the team up here, this is what we call a color comp. Now, the drawings are turnarounds. And what that is, is you do a straight front-on drawing of the character so you know exactly what they look like. And then what you do is you do multiple drawings of them, boom, 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 turning all the way around 360 degrees. So you see them from the side, the front, the back, and a three-quarter view. So that's what these are right here. These are just the front on, and I actually use skits there as a three-quarter view. Uh, kind of make him stand out a little bit, you know, because uh, this is all about skits. So I made his um, drawing a three-quarter view instead of a straight on like most of all the other ones are. Mm, excuse me there. Let me, let me take a little drink of water here. Mm. All right. So on the far left there, the big guy, let me, let me get my hand here. Let me circle him around there. Big guy here. This is MC. 
He's a big mamba jamba right there now. He is awesome. And he's got all sorts of interesting stuff going on with him, which we'll get into in the story and going through all the books. Uh, there's the one thing that I really wanted to do with this story because, you know, as I've said before, you know, skits is a book about a guy who can't tell the difference between his dreams and reality. And this right here, these characters actually evolve a lot from book one to book six. So we actually are, uh, you know, I've taken that into account and I've drawn up what their characters are going to look like over time, you know, as they evolve, as things happen to them, uh, as characters come and go, you know, we're going to have characters coming and going. But MC, he looks really cool. I'm really happy with the way he looks. You know, he's got that armor on. He's got that red. The red's really important for the book. Uh, but the funny thing is, Skits doesn't have any red. All the rest of them have some sort of red about them. And that's something to really, really look at. You know? So we got MC there. And then we got Skits right next to him. We got Skits right there. He's right there next to him. And that's how... I appeared in these series of dreams that I had skits. Uh, you know, what had happened is I was working at this TV station and over a period of two months, I was working the graveyard shift. And over those two months, I was really just kind of, I didn't know what was going on. You know, my days and nights were all merging and all sorts of craziness was going on, you know? So I had to, so I just started documenting my dreams at that point. So this is how I looked during those dreams. I, I was in a straight jacket, and there you go. That's how uh, that's how old skits looks. Let's uh, we got someone over here in the chat. Let's see here. Christopher Jackson, good evening, skits and friends. Well, good evening to you, Christopher Jackson. Appreciate you stopping by, man. That's really cool. Thank you, thank you. Let me know if there's any questions you want answered. We also got some stuff going on in uh, the chat with Black Star and Burst Films. They're, they'll talk to you as well. So uh, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate that. Next character here we're going to release the name for today. This is new right here on, on the channel. You're finding it here first. But this young girl right here, her name is Hattie May. Oh, Hattie May. And she's got some red about her. You know, she's got that red on her helmet there. She's got a half face helmet. She's uh, ready to kick some butt. She's just a little one, though. But she is a really fun character. And as you actually get into the book, you'll find out that she is really quite interesting. Now, we're going to hold off on naming the other two characters. We'll do that coming up here. But uh, I just wanted to kind of tell you a little bit more about them, though. Uh, this character is kind of the main character of the group here um, next to Hattie May. He's uh, he's kind of like uh, the boss of what's going on here in this these characters. Every, everyone needs a, a captain or a leader. So that's exactly what he is. He's a captain or a leader. And we got here just hanging out, Christopher Jack. All right, well, I'm, I'm happy that you're here hanging out with me. I mean, this is great. You're here hanging out with me. We're going to, I'm going to show you a little something about what I'm reading, comic I'm reading right now, talk a little bit about it. And then I'm going to give an art tip at the end. It'll be probably about a 10 minute little tutorial I'll do uh, to show you how I do some concept art. So that'll be cool. So stick around for that. And then we got another character here on the end, and we'll find out more about her as we uh, get into it as well. So anyway, names for those two last ones are coming up here in the next week or two. You know, we're building up to our uh, release time. So we release a little bit at a time. Keep y'all y'all's uh, whiskers wet, you know, just releasing a little bit here and there. So that should be really cool. Let's get on here. And there we go. So this is a concept art piece. Most of this stuff that I'm going to be showing you is just concept art for the comic book. And what I'm doing here is I'm, I'm creating a quick digital painting that I'll use for, say, a scene or a couple pages and stuff like that. So what, what we got right here is 
from this image that I made, it's about a 45 minute to an hour drawing, uh, painting in the computer, just quick, rapid painting. And I'm able to tell what time of the day it is, um, what type of colors are in the atmosphere, you know, what, what's going on. And the mood, you know, you get an overall feeling of the mood of these, of this couple pages that we're going to be doing in the comic book. So that's exactly what we got going on right here is we got a mood that I've set so that I can go back, look at this and say, okay, all these pages are going to look like this. It's going to have this color, this feel, this theme to it. So we'll be able to go from there. So that's this piece right here. It's Skits making his way across this, uh, this world that he's on. And there's these flags here. You see these flags come up quite often. Now here's an actual page from the book, from the comic. This is my pencils. Got to show off them pencils, man. That's what people really like. People love them pencils. Looks like we got some more people here. Shadowhawk skits. I'm here. Sorry so late. Oh, you're not late, man. You can always go back and look at stuff. Thanks for coming, man. We appreciate you being here. This is awesome. You know, I'm just going through skits, telling people about it here on the channel. You know, the thing that I realize is I'm going on these other channels and telling people about skits, but why ain't I right here with y'all live telling y'all what's going on here? So that's what we're doing. We're just talking skits. Everyone likes skits. At least that's what our mailing list is telling us. So go get on that mailing list over there at Indiegogo. We got that early sign up. That's all right. I'll just show that right quick. Everyone go over there and get on that mailing list over on Indiegogo. Appreciate you being here. And we'll get back to talking about this. So, yeah, this is the pencils. Uh, this is Skits uh, just in a different place, roaming through this area. He's he, The book moves really fast, and he's got to make his way to the city and, and eventually somewhere else. We'll find, well, I'll tell you more about that, actually, once uh, once uh, the book launches, what exactly he's got to do. You know, can't give you everything. You know, you, I got to keep a little bit behind for you. So Skits moving through. Let me get a little drink of water. <clears throat> and uh, I hope you like them pencils, man. Them pencils turned out great. You know, we'll be doing a lot more of that. And I uh, hope you all will like it. And this is another concept art piece. This is uh, Skits when he first meets some people on the planet. Now, what's he doing? I don't know. Is he flying? Is he jumping? Is he running? Did someone throw him? All I know is... There's something going on. We got arrows going at them. It's a really pretty scene. And uh, this is another concept art piece where I did a little bit of photo bashing, you know, working them colors, making it really pretty and cool and interesting, you know. Uh, try and do a little bit of this type of work. You know, we're hoping to get this type of color and excitement on every you know so I like that because you know i like it i mean i wouldn't be creating it if i didn't like it i mean i'm doing this that y'all are liking it too indiana jones arrow scene yeah <laughs> yeah exactly that's what everyone says and yes love it thanks shadowhawk appreciate you Shadowhawk also says, loving the look of this project, man. I want a book. I do too, you know. Here's here's a question I, I could have, though. A book. What type of book? Do we just want a standard book? Do we want a hardbound book? I mean, I love, love hardbound. It would be awesome to get skits as a hardbound book because it's going to be 60 to 70. You do really nice paper and a hobby a nice, nice juicy, you know. But we're not going to know until we launch. You know, we got to just kind of launch it. We'll have some ideas, of, and then we just kind of see exactly what happens with it. You know, we got to see where it uh where it ends up at. Um, you know, we can't just kind of. You got to go simple when it's your first campaign. That's the thing. You know, I've been talking to a bunch of people out there who've been doing a few more books than us, and uh, they said keep it simple. You know, and we're going to we're going to keep it simple. We're going to have a few tiers. We're gonna, we're gonna have some art tiers. We're gonna have uh, multiple book tiers. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna have two covers. 
two cover tier. So, you know, get that. And then we're also going to have, if you're on the mailing list, only if you're on the mailing list, you're going to get discounts. I mean, everyone wants a discount. Well, you're going to get a discount if, if you're on the mailing list. So go over there and get on the mailing list, people. All right. So let's roll through some more here. Here's another uh, concept art piece with a little bit of photo bashing. This is just a quickie, too, here, people. You know, this is quick work. And I'm going to show you how to make something like this at the end of this if you're interested stick around i'm actually going to show you how to make how i made this concept art piece right here i'm going to show you how to how to, how to actually do that so stick around if you're interested in that we'll do that at the end but this is a cool piece you know you got the boat floating away out of the wharf and uh i mean it just got a lot of a raw emotion to it it's early the sun's not up yet you know it's it's just got some grit to it that that people really like and i'm happy that they like it you know really happy that they like it let's see uh what else we got here we got some more people showing up we got uh chris jackson this is lovely thanks man i appreciate that sold so so sold all right that's what i'm talking about so so sold you got just getting you ready for the where's my <laughs> book crowd Take as long as you need and make it great. That's what we're doing, man. It's like we got a schedule, but we're going to do it as best as we can. There's no reason to rush it because I got a regular job and I just want to make the best book for myself and for y'all. But of course, you know, you got to make sure you get it done. And we are going to get it done. There's no problem with that. You know, we already got a schedule laid out. And uh, so come along with the ride. You know, the, the, the more... I, I kind of do these videos and just talk to you about it and stuff like that. The more people I can get on the list, the more people I can get generating interest and stuff like that, which means the more books we can sell, which means the more likelihood of we doing a whole bunch more stuff. So you got to do it right. You know, you can't just drop a book and expect people to buy it. You know, you got to get out there and promote it. You got to say, hey, come on over here. Check this out. I got stuff to sell, man. Zero, thank you. You. Hello, hello, hang loose. Well, it's not really hang loose. It's more like uh, that's the sign of the unicron horns, ain't it? Yeah, unicron horns. Any uh, Transformers fans out there? Oh yeah. Hey, cool visual dude, loving it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's see rust. All right. Metal hands. Yep. So here's uh, another page I wanted to show. Uh, this one's actually, uh, it shows inks, pencils, some washes, and light pencil work. So every piece of artwork that we'll have for sale on the campaign, we're going to have artwork of 60, 70 pages of artwork in this book. So they're pretty much all going to be for sale. I might hold one or two for myself because, you know, the best always goes to the artist and then the rest just go to whoever. But we're going to have some different tiers, though. We'll have a little more expensive tier and, uh, and a cheaper tier for the artwork, depending upon if it's a uh, full page spread like this, double page spread, or if it's just a single page. So this one's a big piece. And this is, uh, you got ink in the foreground, dark pencils in the midground, and then uh, light pencils and some washes in the background. And what I'll do is when I scan this in to, uh, to color it, I'll make sure that the backgrounds have that lush type look like you're seeing in this piece right here, right? We'll have to have that type of look to it when I color it. So anyway, that's the type of artwork you're going to get if you buy the book or if you buy a piece of artwork. This is what you'll get in the mail to you. Good quality artwork. And this is one of the pieces that everyone always likes. This is uh, one of the big ones here. Uh, this is when Skits first gets to the city. He's impressed by what he's seeing. There's all sorts of crazy big city stuff going on that he's never seen before. And he's got his arms flapping in the wind and he's just loving life. Bah, 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 bah. You know, it's just a good old time, man. So that's this piece right here. And that's a, another concept art piece with a little bit of photo bashing. There's a little bit there in the buildings, a little bit of photo bashing, but that's all right. No big deal. And, uh, this is one of them pieces. Uh, if y'all go back through the videos, I actually did this one live over a period of about four or five days or something like that. We did this one. So that's a real nice one. And that shows uh, one of the 
team right there. That's a real nice one there. And anyways, just it, it was fun to make this. It was quick and it's rough, but it's still fun, you know. A lot of fun. And then of course we got the McFarlane piece here after Spider-Man number one. People really seem to like this one. Uh, we did a video for it. It was a lot of fun. You know? And everyone loves this piece. This one's actually traditional material. This is pencil, ink, and paint, and collage on paper. So there you go. And then we got some pencil pieces here. And uh, a lot of people think that I do cross hatching, but I actually don't do cross hatching. I do parallel line work. That's uh, how I how I do my shading. I do parallel line. I'm, I'm not a big fan of cross hatching too much. It can get kind of, it just looks like a bunch of big X's, you know, and it just, I don't know, it gets, some people do it really amazingly and I could do it too, but it's just not my style. It's I, I don't like to really work that way. So this is the parallel line technique. And uh, there you go. And then here you go, some parallel line technique with some uh, just mark making and stuff like that. This is skits on the swing, just to swing in. And I'm not going to start singing because I cannot sing. Now, this is something I want to show that I don't really talk about too much. But this is my rough pencil style right here. And what it is is it's meant to be rough so you can get the action and 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 the movement of the pose and stuff like that and this is going to be in the book there's going to be pages where there's a lot of action and stuff going on and it's going to have this rough feel and excitement and and movement to to the drawings where it's like you're just getting uh, 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 because you don't want to see everything you just want it to move really fast think like uh manga books you know when you got all sorts of stuff going on man it's just like it's moving, it's shaking, you got stuff going on all over the place, and that's exactly what we're going to do in here. You know, I'm a huge fan of manga. Uh, if anything, I'd say that my book is, is really influenced by manga and old fantasy art, really. You know, your Frazettas, your Jeff Jones, your Bernie Wrightson, uh, Michael Kaluta, uh, also stuff like Kent Williams and uh, Dave McKean. Those are like the the... American illustrators and comic book artists that I really like and then I, I like a lot of the manga stuff going on especially Blade of the Immortal. Blade of the Immortal I, in my opinion is like some of the best illustration out there. Really really cool rough raw energy. It's got a lot of energy to it and that's really what I want to keep in this book is I want to get that energy you know. Energy is important. You don't want to make it stale. This one's a good one. Oh man, skits with the chicken on his head. I mean, that's that's the South right there, and this book takes place in Savannah. So I mean, that that's what it's all about right there. You can't get any better than that. And then there's skits with a boot. Skits with a boot. Let's go check the chat and see what's going on up in here. Burst Films here. Is this all on the planet? Yes, 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 yes. For the most part, but. Is it real or is it a dream? We'll find out, won't we? Yeah, you will. And we got uh, Shadow Hawk here. That's a beautiful dude. I like it a lot. Thanks, man. Just doing our job. I appreciate you. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. But without the motion lines. Yep, exactly. You know, it's like. You don't need to have all the motion lines. You need to have the motion lines and the grit and the emotion of the actual drawing itself. If you do the drawing right, it'll have that emotion to it and it'll have that movement. You know, you don't really have to put that stuff in there. I mean, it might be cool to put some of that stuff. Like there's some parts where I'm going to have to get some motion lines and some stuff going on. But that's it's part of the story. It's yeah. So you'll you'll see. That'd be great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate your shadow hawk. Appreciate you a lot. All right. So let's go over to, let's uh, talk about what I'm reading here. What are y'all reading at home? I mean, we're in day one of quarantine here, people. You got to be at home reading some comics or something. Let me go ahead and uh, make myself big here. There we go. So this is what I'm reading right now. You got... Oh, oh, oh. Got Gundam Mobile Suite, the origin. 
mobile suit, excuse me, <laughs> it's mobile suite. So I got this at Barnes and Noble, right? And I just started reading it. I'm only through the first chapter. But what I wanted to, you know, I just opened this, got it at Barnes and Noble, and the pages are already starting to fall out. It's got these, it's got these beautiful color pages right here at the beginning. Beautiful color pages. And the color pages are starting to fall out of it, man. I mean, like, what the heck's the deal with that, man? I don't want, oh, let me move it that way. I don't want, uh, see, here's here's the page falling out right here. Look at that. And look at that. It's coming out. And what a bunch of junk, man. To pay good money. I mean, look at the money I paid for this. This is, what, 30 bucks? Yeah, 30 bucks. 30 bucks paid for this thing. But, you know, some cool stuff in there. And really cool pages, right? Real nice stuff. Let's get to the uh, actual artwork. I love the way the paneling is on this book. It's got really, really good panels there. Really nice panel work. It's simple, but it does the job, you know? And I ain't going to tell you too much about what's going on in there, except that uh, because I'm only in the first chapter. But what's really happening here is they're, they just got on this. Uh, it's like a, a station, a, a, you know, one of those round stations, you know, where it's got a, a, an entire environment inside the round station where it spins and everything is on the inside wall. So that's that's where they're at. And they got cars. They got all sorts of stuff that they're doing in there. It's really cool. Oh, yeah, here we go. Here's a good picture of it right there. See that thing right there? There you go. Yeah, so that's the uh, station there that's being built. And uh, then some of these guys show up. And then some fighting goes on. I can't show you every page because then they'll be, you know, running into some problems. But anyway, at the end of the chapter we'll just kind of show you the end of the chapter here if i can find it end of the chapter basically you get to see uh the big suit it's like the big baddie or the big or the good guy you know there you go in the chapter one there it is there's a gun the mobile suit suit right there so anyway that's what i'm reading right now uh, you know, first day doing something. So it it I mean it seems really cool to me. I mean it's a classic. So there you go. But now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna show you I'm gonna show you how to do a little thing in Photoshop right quick here. You know, I showed I showed the uh you know let's kind of take it back here and I tell you. So this concept art piece right here, I'm going to show you how I made this piece. I'm going to give away some of the magic here. So I hope people aren't mad. I'm giving away the secrets. <clears throat> Let's go to the chat right quick before we do that. Zero. It's just listening at work, bro. Sweet. Well, at least you're working. You know, it's good that you still got a job, still working. You're not sent home or nothing like that. Let me uh, share this screen again. All right. Dude, dude, let's see what other people are saying. We got sweet, sweet. I'll send you characters in my story. I'll send you the characters in my story. Well, sweet. Well, don't don't try and, you know, send me something, uh, you know, that you haven't shown to anyone else yet, you know. Make sure that you get it out there and copyright it before you start sending it around to people. That's always a good thing to do. But thank you. I, I love getting emails and talking to people about all sorts of stuff. So send it on, man. Enjoy the new Trivium single, the FFDP album. You check out Testament's new one. All right. Have to look into that. Live drawing. That's right. Oh, shut up. Got to go, Skits. Love you. Better. In the better half. Oh, thank you. Appreciate you. Yeah, we're just going to do a little drawing tutorial here, show people how to do that one concept art style, and then we're moving on. 
Yeah, we ain't shut down here yet. Sweet, 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 sweet. Well, that's good. I hope you don't get shut down. So <clears throat> let me get my a picture here. Da, 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 da. Uh, did I close out that? Yeah, I might have. All right, well, we'll just use what I got here. Okay, so say that I want to create an image with this right here. I really like those buildings right here, right? I got these buildings going on, and I want to kind of do something with it. Well, I want it, what I'm wanting to do is I want to turn it into a brush so I can make it smaller, bigger. I can mute, use it all over the place. So what I'll do is, first, I don't want this to be a background anymore. So <clears throat> let me get my eraser, and I'm going to get a hard brush eraser first. And I'm going to erase everything that I don't want. Mm -mm. There we go. Make sure you got it on 100% there. Get rid of all that stuff. So this doesn't have to be perfect or anything, you know. But all I want is just these buildings. And again, this doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, it's... Just, I mean, it can be perfect if you want, but I ain't gonna make it perfect. I'm just gonna do something rough here. And what I'm gonna do, there we go. And I'm gonna image adjust. I'm gonna make it black and white. And this is essential for what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it into a brush and uh. In order to make it a brush, you got to make it black and white. So I'm making it black and white so I can turn it into a brush. And also something I'm going to do, I'm going to feather the edges on it. You don't have to do this, but I just find that it makes it a little better if you feather the edge, you know, the hard edges. Not that much. Yeah, because I'm... Mainly wanting just that little bit right in there. There we go. So I'm going to feather that out a little bit. And then there's my image that I'm interested in using. So then I go over here to edit. And then I want to define a brush. Okay. And what's going to happen is I got to pull this over from the other screen to show y'all. It comes up with this thing so you can actually name it. And I'm going to call it Curved Buildings. Curved Buildings. <clears throat> now, when I go over to, as you can see here, it's already got me set up on that brush there. And I'll go over to my brushes. I'm going to space this out. And there it is. So now what I can do is I'm going to go over to this right here. And let me make it a little bit bigger here. And make sure. Yep, yep, yep. And bam, there we go. Look at that. Now what I can do is <clears throat> I can just kind of put it in wherever I want it, right? But. What I want to do here is I want to kind of adjust my opacity. Right? I can do stuff here in the background. And another thing I can do is I can I can kind of flip it around and do stuff with it. Right? Let me go ahead and flip this layer. And transform, flip horizontal. And then I'll go back to doing regular, but then I'll also put the opacity up. Let's see here. There we go. So that's kind of fun. And I can go back to my eraser. Don't need that right now. And now I've also made some 
and this just gives you, you know, and if you make a couple of these, like I've actually already done here. Um, I don't want that one. Let me try. Yeah, let's try this one. So, and what you can do is make it. Oh, I'm still on a racer. <laughs> Let me get off a racer. There we go. So, um, maybe not quite like that, but now, there we go. Let me put that on its own layer here. And then I'll go back in with the eraser. Bam, look at that. All right, so you could actually start using this stuff. I'm going to merge those two layers. And then you can actually start using this as maybe part of a scene, right? Okay, so you want, you got something. Let's just put it way back up in there, okay? Let's do another layer. And I've actually already made some rocks. So let me go find my rocks here. That ain't down. There we go. So I've made some rocks here. And I'm going to put some angle jitters on it, roundness and size jitter. I'm going to do all sorts of stuff here. Because I'm just going to kind of put it in down, down in here. And that's a little too much, a little too big. There we go. Let's see about that. All right, there we go. All right, so we got a little bit of rock going on right in here. And maybe what else I want is some water, right? So let me grab some water here. Select all, copy. Go over here to my drawing. And there we go. So. Got the water. Make it a little bit small. Man, this is huge. <laughs> All right. So there we go. Yeah, bring some water up into here. There we go. And let me get my eraser. Let me get just my soft round eraser. Yeah. Let me put that back behind there. We got some rocks going on. Let me race away some of that back there. Anyway, so we got that going on right there. And, you know, you just got to play around with this stuff, but then you can kind of just say, okay, well, I got something going on here. What else do I need to do? Well, you just keep building it and building it this way until you eventually get to that piece that I showed you here. You know, oh, didn't want to go over there. To where you get to this one. I mean, that's all it is. You know, you get you some clouds, you put some clouds in the background, you got you some water, you got you some buildings. Bam! You got a concept art piece after an hour, tweaking it a little bit, doing a little bit, doing a little drawing. But what I was showing you here about this one, though, is I'm just showing you like the rough, like here's how you do it. What you really want to do is you want to go out there and you want to kind of come up with something in your head first off and say, OK, I, I kind of want to do X. OK, well, then you go and you find you some photographic reference to kind of go along with this. And you say, OK, I need some photographs of X, Y, and Z. OK, I need some rocks, some water, and some buildings. OK, well, there you go. You got some of that. But don't just rely on that, though. You know, Go in there, get an idea, lay down some of this sort of stuff, but then also go back and do you some, um, let's just kind of, let me get a drawing brush here of some sort. Let's do a new layer. 
So then what you can start doing is you can start saying, okay, well, I want to, oh, come on, eraser. I need my brush. Got to go over the brush first. All right, got the brush. Sometimes you do that, you know. You, you think you got what you need, but you don't. Okay. Da, 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 da. Let me just, I'll just get this one. Man, it, it is bogged down. Let me, uh, let me just merge these layers because that, that ain't no big deal. I don't know why this is going so slow here. Okay, now we're cooking. Something wrong with that pencil right there. So you can go in here, you can draw, you know. You can get, you know, some of your stuff going on, make it a little darker. Maybe you want to, you know, ch -ch 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 -ch. maybe define what's going on down here as it hits the water, right? You know, maybe these buildings come down and hit this water. And then you're like, oh, man, that's too dark. What did I do? What did I do? Well, you know, you just go back, you get your soft brush, blow it up, get you like a white or something like that. And what you do is you just kind of knock it back, right? Bam. Now you got you some, you know, smoke going across here. Let me, let me get some cloud. What you can also do here is you can put some clouds in. Right? Just put some clouds in. Put some cloud brushes. Right? There you go. And then go back over this and uh, get your drawing pencil again. And, you know, it's really just build up, right? You're just doing some build up, you know. And eventually you get what you want, you know. And that's all there is to it, guys. I mean, you just keep noodling it until you get exactly what you want, you know. And that's fine. That's that's the cool part about this is you can do. And also, once you get it drawn to a particular part, you probably want to go in and put you some... Uh, uh, perspective lines in there and stuff like that. Yeah, that's really, really important. And I was playing around with this earlier. And yeah, that was something that I did a little earlier. That, that was kind of fun right there. And what I did on this is I just kind of, I ghosted it a little bit more and it kind of gives this eerie feeling to it. And I really, really like that, you know. Let's see what we got here. We got zero. This is cool, interesting technique. Well, I appreciate it, man. Thanks. Yeah, give it a try for yourself. Send it over to me on uh, on uh, Twitter. Let me know what uh, what you're doing, man. Fun part, yeah. Great technique. Let's see here. Great technique skit. Something different. Yeah, I mean it's just you know a way to get some information down really quick. You know, just get some stuff down really quick. Have some fun with it, and uh, you know, don't let the images that you use be your final. Just let it be something to use as reference material. You know, use it as reference and uh, go from there. You know, don't don't rely upon it to make your image for you. Just use it as reference material that you can go back over and draw all over and stuff like that. That's that's the important thing. All right, what we got here? Ghost in the shell. Yeah, that's how that one was looking. Wasn't it? it was kind of eerie, wasn't it? Yeah. That was really cool. But anyway, yeah, everyone go out there and try that. Let's, uh, it's just a little show and tell for today. Let's get back on, over here to the skit stuff. There's skits. There's my team. That's my squad. That's the skit squad right there. Go on over to Indiegogo, get on the mailing list. At Skits, The Sun, Book One on Indiegogo, get on that mailing list. We need as many people as we can get as we're building up to it. And remember, you'll get discounts on day one. Day one, you get a big discount on some books that you can buy. So go on over there and see what that's all about. 
And we got something here from old Z Rust again. Yeah, this would look great to flesh out ideas. Exactly, man. Go on in there and flesh out them ideas on it, you know? Uh, you know, play around using different things. Use all sorts of different. Use your own photographs, you know, your own photographs. Like go out in nature, take pictures of rocks, trees, all that sort of stuff. You know, it's just great for textures, you know. And that's another thing, too, is you can use the same method to make your own textured brushes. You know, textured brushes are really important, especially if you're doing stuff like uh, uh, forests and, and things where there's a lot of little details, city stuff. You can take pictures of like people walking on the city streets. Probably not right now. The city streets are all dead. You know, no one's out there walking around. But go take pictures of that sort of stuff and you can use that as uh, visual guides for doing uh, your own brushes and stuff like that in Photoshop. That's really cool. Yeah, Verse Film said it right here. Textures help a lot. Yes, they do. Textures are really important. It's what makes a, a piece seem real. You know, it gives it that life, that edge, that emotion. That's one thing that a lot of people always talk about with computer art is it doesn't have emotion. Well, I'm going to use Bjork's line here when she talked about people who made uh, electronic music. She said, well, if the electronic music doesn't have the emotion in it, it's because they didn't put it there. Same thing with computer art. If it doesn't have that emotion to it, that's because it hadn't been put there. And it takes the artist uh, that time and energy to actually put it in there. So go and put it in there. So I'm going to wrap this up. We got uh, the skits. The Sun, book one over on Indiegogo. Go get on the mailing list. Go check us out on, on Twitter. You got Skits Comic on Twitter. Skits Comic right here on YouTube. If you're watching this, you know exactly where we are. You're on YouTube. And also Skits Comic. Or actually go check out Come Get Some on Twitter. That's with Black Star, who's here in the chat. Go get some Come Get Some. That's come underscore some underscore come oh come underscore get underscore some underscore two on uh, on the Twitter. So go check out that as well. So y'all have a great night. I appreciate you stopping by. Really nice. Nice of y'all stopping by and we'll see you the next day on uh, on quarantine. We're still in quarantine. This is day one of quarantine. We still got weeks of quarantine left to do. So we're going to be here. We're going to create some content for you. We're going to have you come on over here and say hello and have fun with us on, on quarantine day. So come on and uh, join this ride with us. R the ride to the book coming out. We'll see you next time.